Welcome to the Forbes School of Business and Technology MBA webinar. Uh, my name is Charlie Minnick. Um, I'm fortunate to serve as the lead faculty for the MBA program. I've been with that. Ashford sneaking up on 15 years. So I think it's amazing the things we'll talk about have grown and evolved over the years. It's just been fascinating to see that, uh, that transformation. So tonight's webinar will really have a special focus for our second year students in our MBA program. There are lots and lots of resources that um, are needed to assist students to meet, to meet their personal, professional, and academic goals. Um, so tonight we'll explore a few of those and hear from a student's perspective, from Katrina and her, her, her friends, um, about their student experience within the MBA program at Forbes, School of Business and Technology at uh, Ashford University. So it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Maya Zellick, who's the department chair for advanced management studies within the Forbes School of Business and Technology, Dr. Zellick. Thank you, Charlie. Hi, everyone. Um, I would like to welcome those of you who are with us tonight and also those of you uh, that will be listening to this uh, recording and, and viewing this recording online. We will be posting it under our uh, LinkedIn uh, MBA Club LinkedIn page. Uh, so please take some time to, to review it because we will be covering some of the important uh, tips and, and resources that we have uh, here available at the MBA program with the Ford School of Business and Technology. Okay, so those of you that are currently in your second year, some of you are just starting the second year and you're still in the midst of all the coursework. Uh, some of you are already thinking about the future. And um, in the spirit of thinking about the future, uh, you may want to ask yourself, uh, you know, just a, a, a few quick questions such as, you know, what do I do now after I graduate or as I'm about to graduate? Uh, well, first of all, try to focus on what you've learned um, within the program and can you apply it at your current job? Uh, many of you are getting this degree uh, to improve your current standing within, uh, with the, within your current employer, but also many of you are trying to uh, find a completely different career path. Uh, so try to define your career goals and what you're trying to get with this particular degree and where do you go from, from this from this standpoint. Uh, we do have a lots of assignments as part of our program that are teaching you how to utilize some of our career development tools, uh, also how to build a, a portfolio. And some of the assignments, for example, are, are teaching you how to uh, set up your LinkedIn page um, or how to enhance it. I would say one of the biggest tips I have is take advantage and leverage the Forbes brand. Uh, Forbes School of Business and Technology. You will be the graduate of Forbes School of Business and Technology and make sure that that is reflected on your LinkedIn profile. Also, as you're introducing yourself, as you're doing interviews, as you're updating your resume, make sure that that brand is prominent because that is the brand that opens doors uh, in the business world. It is, uh, it's reg recognized internationally, not only within the United States. Uh, try to be helpful you know, when it comes to your employers as you're working uh, through some of the daily tasks, because some of the skills that we're going through, um, you know, teaching you how to market a business or how to uh, interpret a spreadsheet, how to look at some of the statistical data that you gathered as part of your program. Well, take advantage of the fact that you've learned that, uh, not to necessarily to, to show off in front of your employers, but, but to be of assistance, to be helpful, and through doing that, uh, to have more opportunities within your current uh, line of work or as you're, as you're switching jobs, uh, try to define at least three goals after you graduate, uh, your professional career goals that you're trying to achieve and, and, and work through, through that list. Um, this goes back to what I was saying is, what's your brand? After you finish the, this particular program, um, create an elevator pitch, create that uh, two minute speech, try to define your brand. What, what are you bringing to the table to a potential uh, employer? Uh, what are some of the, you know, try to define two to five things uh, that should distinguish you from the, um, from the other candidates. Um, I already touched upon um, leverage and utilizing the Forbes brand as you're introducing yourself during the interview. Uh, we have tremendous amount of career resources. Uh, and, um, and that is actually on the next slide. Prior to that, <laughs> one and two, yes, perfect. 
uh, and we can go back to the prior slide afterwards. Um, we have a, a tremendous amount of resources with our career services. Uh, we will introduce some of those uh, as part of this session, uh, but take advantage of the career services after you graduate prior to graduating would be even ideal. In order for you to get familiar, to get comfortable, to start having that one-on-one -on -one employment with a career counselor as you are getting ready uh, to graduate. Uh, we have a, a few tremendous opportunities um, that you can take advantage of. Center for Women Leadership uh, has been launched uh, in June this year. Uh, and no, you don't need to be a, a woman to to support our Center for Women's Leadership. We have many uh, wonderful sessions. We have uh, many beautiful resources, uh, mentorship opportunities. So that way you can be a mentee at this juncture while you're still in the program. Maybe later on, once you graduate, you would like to be a mentor. Uh, there are also some, um, uh, also some career tips, services, uh, some other uh, valuable uh, resources for you. We're gonna have some, some workshops and we also have at least uh, one quarterly event um, that you can uh, attend. So take advantage of this and we'll be posting some of those resources online, uh, become a member and get involved. Um, Thought Leader Summit is coming up in October as well. Uh, we have some, some wonderful lineup, different uh, panelists, uh, industry experts uh, within the world of business, uh, world-renowned experts. Um, so take a look at this link as well, and uh, either Charlie or, or I will, will post it in LinkedIn, so that way you can actually register for those sessions and maybe pick a few panels that you would like to attend. If I can go back to the prior slide now. Okay, so here, what we have here is the, uh, um, I always like to say, uh, after you graduate, <laughs> take a few months and, and relax and, and do absolutely nothing. Uh, reconnect with family and friends and, and hopefully within the next few months, uh, uh, God willing, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of this uh, uh, pandemic mode. Uh, however, some of you uh, are even thinking and contemplating doing something else after this particular degree. And within the Forbes School of Business, we do have a PhD in organizational development and leadership. It's actually uh, ranked as one of the best uh, uh, PhD programs in organization development and leadership within the United States. And it is teaching you all the necessary skills to take your career um, also perhaps in the world of academia, but also to become that top-notch leader within your organizations. And those of you that are addicted to learning, addicted to uh, discussion boards and forums and, and assignments and, and, uh, and papers, um, this, is a, this is a terrific program and we are very proud of it. This is our only PhD program under the umbrella of the Forbes School of Business. So after you take a, a few months after graduation, those of you that wanna go back to school, um, consider this and, 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 and ask us any questions that you may have. Uh, as always, um, Charlie and I and, and, and Dr. Susan Sazedek uh, were here, we're the core team, uh, core MBA team, we're here to help you. Um, good luck to you. Those of you that are graduating in just a few weeks, congratulations. We're very proud of you and we'll see you during the virtual graduation ceremony. Those of you that are still having uh, several courses to go, uh, good luck with those courses and let us know uh, if you need anything. Thank you very much, everyone. And now back to you, Charlie. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, I would like for us to congratulate Charlie. He became grandpa again. <laughs> Uh, I cannot believe he's doing this. Uh, he's doing this session tonight, considering all this. And I was actually very inconsiderate. I should have probably suggested for him to to take take it easy with the family. And uh, I was so busy, we all got sidetracked. But congratulations, Charlie. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. How can a guy this young have three grandkids? Huh? Holy mackerel! <laughs> so no thanks. It's that's the best part is is having grandkids. So so I think as we as we think about as Maya talked about, I think you want to want to think about is part of our goal here is to educate the whole person and part of the Center for Women's Leadership and all these other things you'll see that we'll talk about a bit as you, and as you go through your, your curriculum and your program is, is to get involved lots of different things. So I think that helps at the end. So, so become, I always believe people should become a participant, not just a spectator as you go through your career and your edu and just life in general. So, so anyway, so, so I've been at this a long time, this higher ed game, probably almost 30 years. And what I've always believed in is this, is the student is the most important person on our campus. Without the students, there would be no need for any of us, you see, 
on the on their little squares here, or the institution in general. So that's why you know we really focus on how do we help our students meet their personal, professional, and academic goals. So so we're fortunate today to have Katrina Furman, who is here with us, who's a current MBA student, who's going to talk a bit about her experience within the MBA program at Forbes School of Business and Technology. Katrina, please. Thank you, Charlie. And yeah, thank you all for um, joining tonight. And if you're catching the replay later, thanks for tuning in. This is a tremendous opportunity. And as some of the speakers have already said, it's life is about what you make of it, right? So if you can participate, that's how you would be able to, you know, join a panel like this and then get to speak about your experience at Ashford. So in my life, I like to kind of go above and beyond. As you'll see, I'm going to share my screen. Um, and then I put together a little uh, presentation so that you can see kind of what Ashford means to me and how I've been able to maximize my time here. So I actually joined the program earlier this year in January. And um, as you can see from the screen, it kind of looks like an envelope, but I work for Verizon. I'm based in Jersey City and my office was in Manhattan prior to COVID. And Verizon partners with Ashford University to bring employees, um, you know, the education through our tuition assistance. So Ashford's been tremendous in that capacity, only charging up until where you would actually have to pay taxes, which I think is just amazing. So for all of you that have been through the program a little bit longer than me, you're well aware of all of these things. And I just want to give um, AU a bit of credit for doing that because it made a huge difference for me in choosing which school I was going to go to to get my MBA. And another portion of the program that stood out to me is the fact that you take one class for six weeks at a time. So it allows you to be very intentional with your time and focus during those six weeks. And then I appreciate a bit of a sprinting energy. So I never get too complacent or too bored with the material. And before I know it, I'm into the next chapter. So it's very, very interesting and fast paced. Um, and again, as you can see, I am active on LinkedIn, so feel free to connect with me. And on the right hand side are a few of the societies and clubs that I've been able to take advantage of as part of the MBA program at Ashford. So um, the top right and the middle are both honor societies and the bottom right is a social society. Um, and I know some of you may have joined the MBA program to be able to progress in your career. And maybe you're moving into a leadership role now that you have the degree um, and others are looking to maybe get out of their career and move from corporate into the entrepreneurial space. So wherever you are in life, I just want to encourage you to, again, maximize your time wherever you are and network as much as possible because you never know who you'll meet or what opportunities that will bring for you. So um, I wanted to share a video that I put together. It's a uh, compiled between a colleague of mine who I recruited to join Ashford's MBA program um, and one of my classmates as well. So I hope you enjoy it. I don't think anyone would deny that 2020 has been a challenging year. But the question is, how do you want to spend your life? What do you want to be focusing on? And where do you want to be in six months from now? And in a year from now? Because the thing about an MBA from Ashford University is that six months from now, you're a third of the way through. A year from now, you only have a third of the way to go. And then in the year and a half, you could be walking across that stage. So what are you waiting for? My name is Bill Scrubber, uh, father of two, married with a beautiful wife. Hey guys, my name is Igor Kostic. I'm a client partner at Verizon. I've been working here for six years and I'm following my MBA program at Ashford University. And they didn't miss a beat when all of us had to adjust the rest of our lives. School continued, business as usual. Two simple reasons for me. One is I have a very clear development path or a goal to become a uh, leader in my company. And I believe that an MBA will help me get more well-rounded on understanding what it means uh, to have a business across the different functions. Um, and then secondly, the connections or the network that you gain through Ashford uh, are going to be invaluable. I went from thinking I would go to an Ivy League $100,000 school and do weekends and do that for two years and have that MBA on my resume from a school like that 
to learning about Ashford, realizing I could be done in less than a year and a half, understanding what it means to be able to go to school online, the amount of flexibility and freedom that truly provides. And in a world like COVID, can you imagine paying $100,000 for a cohort education that's supposed to be in person, and then only to realize that you're going to be doing it remotely for the next year, year and a half, two years? It's definitely not where you want to put your time, energy, and money. At least it's not where I would have wanted to. So I to come to Ashford University for my master's degree uh, because I had a relationship with my employer, Guardian Life. And once I realized how flexible the schedules were and uh, being able to handle being a full-time father and a full-time student and a full-time employee, after the university seemed like the right fit. There are honor societies like the Golden Key International Honor Society and Sigma Beta Delta. I think Ashford runs a really good structure uh, where you have the flexibility to really dedicate your own time uh, as and when you please. However, there are clear structures on delivering discussions and engaging in discussions on materials that you just uh, went through, um, as well as uh, you know, delivering assignments in, in multiple ways. So it could be reports, it could be videos, uh, which I believe uh, makes it really nice and interactive and interesting as well. And it allows you to learn in a better way. For me, Ashford offers a plethora of opportunities to get involved, to give back to the community and to grow in your academic experience as well as your personal development. There's so many people I've met so far and it's only been since January. And I couldn't think of a better way to spend quarantine. And so far about halfway through my MBA program and it's been a great experience. And thank you guys. <laughs> so that's it for me. I'll send it back to Charlie now. That's awesome. Thanks so much. It, uh, um, I guess it is a perfect example. And, you know, uh, Katrina talked about connector queen. I think that's truly what she is. If you ever follow her like that, holy mackerel. So she has a fabulous approach to connecting with people and networking and all that stuff. So you're really a, a model for how to, to get the most out of your experience here. So, so again, it's really all about the students. How do we help our students get where they want to be personally, professionally, academically. So, so there's lots of pieces that are available, as I said, to make that happen. So as you go through your MBA program, you certainly have the opportunity to, to write a little bit along the way. Um, and I think, you know, become a good writer just by osmosis or some light comes down on you. So it takes practice to be a good writer and to have a lot of resources available to become a much better writer, to become clear, concise, present good arguments in your writing. So uh, so Luis Santani is here with us. So he's a writing online writing consultant in our in our writing center. So he has lots and lots of good tips to share with us. So Louis, please. Thank you very much. I uh, yes, I am Louis Santani. I am from the writing center. I will be the light shining down on you. I will be the osmosis to the best of my ability. Uh, but more than that, I'm going to show some resources that maybe you're not familiar with, um, even though you're uh, a little bit into your program and some ways that you can utilize these resources to make your experience as an Ashford MBA student even easier. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and let you guys see some of what the Writing Center has to offer. All right, so uh, this is, uh, I, I am uh, Louis Zutani, the MFA uh, writing degree. So not really familiar with what the MBA path is, but I do know that writing is something that can scare all of us, whether we have a degree in it or whether we have a degree elsewhere. And so the goal of the Writing Center then is to provide services that demystify or take that fear and, uh, and just alleviate it a little bit, take some stress away from all of you so that you can focus on the important work of getting your degree and learning what you need to learn to get out in the world and succeed. So first off, how do you get to the Writing Center? Uh, for those of you who have never experienced our services, we are right there on the left-hand tab in your Canvas classroom. So just on that left-hand tab, go down to Writing Center and Library, click it. You'll see uh, what I call our big four right in front of you. And that is the Writing Center website at the top. And then the three services below, the paper review, 24 seven writing, tutoring, and Grammarly. All of these can be accessed through your Canvas classroom. All of them are free. And other than the, the um, paper review and, and, and tutoring, Grammarly and the website are available to you during the program and after you graduate as well. 
And I'll get a little bit more detail on that as I move along. So first, paper review, which is one of our most utilized services and it is one of our most powerful services. Paper review is where you can submit anything you're working on, whether it be a discussion board post or a long academic paper or a business writing assignment. Doesn't matter what it is, you can submit it in doc form to a writing expert and within 24 hours you will get writing feedback on your work. The feedback comes in the form of the doc file. You'll see it in the margins there on the right. And usually what they focus on is structural and organizational higher order concerns in your writing. So if you're looking for somebody to edit, to do line edits and, and, and things like that, this isn't the service you want to use. This is more to see if what you're writing is effective and if it's accomplishing the goals that you're looking to accomplish. The uh, feedback gets sent back to you within 24 hours, but our average turnaround time uh, over the past, I believe, six months is, is closer to five hours. So you're looking at submitting a paper and getting all of the feedback back to you in less than half a day so that you can make the revisions you need to to improve that paper and get the best grade that you can possibly get and learn the most you can possibly learn. The service itself, we have uh, a lot of data supporting its use. And if, if I just point you to those green bars in the middle, uh, the, that is the pass rate among students who are users of paper review on the left and students who are non-users on the right. It is, this is for Ashford, not just for the MBA program, but that just goes to show you how powerful of a tool this is, is 30% more students are passing using this service than those who choose not to use it. So it's an important thing for you to know about and I urge you all to use it early and often. There's no limit to how many times you can use it. Let's say you just have a quick question though. You don't have an entire draft done and you just want help on one aspect of a paper as you're moving along. That's where our 24 seven live writing support comes in. It is exactly what it says, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, doesn't matter where you are in the world, doesn't matter uh, what you're working on, you can log in through the same means through your Canvas classroom and it takes you to this lesson space where you can see that you can type or copy and paste into this middle area, this white space. You can converse or use your camera to uh, converse with the, the tutor one-on-one -on -one, or uh, the most popular way is this chat function in the bottom right where you can send your questions there and they can answer them. These lessons are usually completed in under an hour, but they can be as short as a few minutes if you just have a quick question. This is where you really wanna go if you know exactly what you need and you need help right now on one thing. Once that draft is ready, that's when you send it over to paper review. So you can see that you can kind of stack these services and use all of them to benefit your academic journey. Similar to the paper review, uh, very similar pass rates among people who are using it compared to non-users. It's gonna help you and it's free. Uh, it also doesn't take any extra time other than those few minutes of talking to a tutor. It's a pretty immediate service. Next, and this one is probably the most uh, pervasive of all of our services is Grammarly. Because as an Ashford student, you are uh, given a free Grammarly premium account if you follow the instructions on our website. So after you're done here on this webinar, I urge you to, to go over to our website, to our Grammarly page, check out the installation instructions, and then sign up for your free Grammarly premium account. If you already pay for premium, you don't have to pay anymore. If you're using the free version, Grammarly premium is significantly stronger. It's not only gonna correct the errors that it finds in your writing, but it's also going to give you a ton of reasoning behind those corrections and examples so that in the future you can make fewer of those errors. The cool thing about Grammarly is you can install it in your web browser or in Microsoft Word, the, the app itself or the program itself. And like I said, once you, you, once you sign up and get this Grammarly Premium through Ashford, uh, you're going to get it for free for the rest of your life. It is not something that goes away after graduation. I use it on all my emails still, uh, and I use it on a lot of the documents that I write. So another service that we highly, highly recommend you get as quickly as you can. And then of course, for those of you who are a little bit more do-it-yourself uh, oriented, we have our website. And on our website, which you can access through your Canvas classroom or at that uh, address below, writingcenter.ashford.edu, you can find a ton of resources. Uh, I always lead students first to this uh, magnifying glass in the top right, because that is where, you, if you have a concept on your mind you wanna learn more about, type it into that uh, search function and we will show you everything we can on our page that has to do with that concept. Uh, and it's a pretty, pretty broad 
uh, search function, we have so many resources, hundreds of resources to help you. I, I like to joke that we are like a, a Google search, but we don't listen to your conversations. So it's a lot better uh, than that for you. But one thing that we have specifically for all of you MBA students is a writing in the field of business guide. And this is something that uh, you can kind of sift through. And on our website, you can find the sort of general writing expectations that you probably already know about. But then you can see common business writing assignments and common writing on the job tasks, where you can see samples, you can have guides, and so on and so forth to help you really advance your writing skills in a particular way. We're always adding to this and we're always looking for ways to strengthen this for our, uh, Forbes students. So please, please, please check it out on our website. Apart from that, you can also, if you have any questions about any of our services, hover over our services, click student services, and it'll take you to pages upon pages of resources that will help you. Notice that second bullet point there says business and technology. When you click there, you end up getting the top resources for students in the business schools. So this will really help you, not just on the more broad and general concept of writing in the field of business, but you know, if you really need to refresh on how to write the best professional email, or a business report, case study analysis, whatever it may be, we have all these resources available to you for free. I urge you to check them out at your earliest convenience. And if you ever have any questions or, or issues, we do have an FAQ and troubleshooting guide on the page. Uh, that answers a lot of issues for students, but let's say that doesn't work for you. You can always shoot us an email and we get back to you within 24 hours during the week so that we can make sure that you're getting all the service that you need from the Writing Center. Uh, once again, you find us in your Canvas classroom, click on that and you can get to any of these services through that uh, area right there in your, in your classroom. And if you ever need to reach out to us, it's just writing at ashford.edu. We really look forward to hearing from you. And uh, I, I think that's all I got. Back to okay. Charlie. All right. Thanks. That's cool. You know, I think about when I, uh, I did my MBA about 25 years ago, it's hard to believe. So at a, di a different institution, very traditional sort of brick and mortar sort of place. And, you know, the kind of assistance we had was kind of the figured out assistance. You had to just kind of figure it out on your own, go find stuff. Here, everything is really at, at, a, at your fingertip. And I think what the cool thing is, you know, there's different, you have to go where students are. People can get live help, or as Louis said, some people are more do-it-yourself kind of folks. You can kind of do it that way too. So again, there's lots of different resources for however you like to do stuff and it's available so much of it 24 seven because you know our students are non-traditional folks who have kid, families and jobs and all that kind of stuff. So we again, we have to be available when students are. So the writing center is very, very cool. So make sure you take advantage of that. So again, so I think part of it, again, we talked about lots of, lots of partners as we go through the process. And part of that partnership is our career and alumni services folks. Because I think it, networking is important. I don't care where you're at in the process, how do you connect with folks and you know, resume writing and, and interviewing, those are all skills you need no matter how, where you're at in the process. So, so we're fortunate to have Amanda Johnson with us today, who's a career advisor in our career alumni services, who's gonna share lots of different resources that that group has available. So Amanda, it's all yours. Awesome. Thank you so much, Charlie. I am so glad to be here today. And as Charlie mentioned, my name is Amanda Johnson, and I am one of the career advisors here at Ashford. So I'm going to share some information today about the different resources and services that our department provides. So one moment here, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, can you see my screen, Charlie? Okay, perfect. So I have been with the university since October of 2018. I hold a Global Career Development Facilitator credential, and I am also a certified federal career coach. And I am also the assigned career advisor for the Forbes School of Business and Technology. So our mission here in Career Services is to empower our students and alumni with the employment readiness skills needed to achieve their individualized career goals through innovative programs and services. 
So we are here to coach you throughout that entire career development process, no matter what stage you are currently at. So if you are getting close to finishing your MBA degree, now is really an excellent time to reach out to us. We can really help you through that entire job search process and help you with those strategies. Even if you have a few classes left, it is never too early to reach out to us and really just start prepping and preparing for your career after school. If you are looking for a job promotion at your current company, looking to move into a management role, or even if you are looking to make a complete career change, we can help you through all of those different aspects. And I did just want to make sure that you know that we support, we provide free lifetime support to all of our alumni. So all of these resources and services that you receive as a student, you will also receive as an alumni. So here is just an overview of some of the key services that we provide. So we can really help you through that self-assessment phase. And our department does provide a wide variety of different self-assessments, such as the Strengths Quest Type Focus, the ONET Interest Profiler. We have the PAR SDS, which is a military-specific assessment. So we can provide you with free access to these assessments. And then we can also help you just to interpret those results and help you understand how you can use them to then make informed career decisions. We can also help you throughout that career exploration and planning phase. So this is really that process of exploring different occupations and discovering how they align with your MBA degree program, as well as those interests and strengths and career aspirations that you have. One of our most popular services is our resume and cover letter reviews. So we will review your resume, your cover letter. We can also review your LinkedIn profile. And we'll provide you with feedback and suggestions on how you can really optimize these personal marketing documents and really just get those into the hands of those recruiters and those employers. In addition to that review service, we do have several 24-7 resume specific tools to really help you build your resume, as well as to scan it against job postings so you can really tailor it to whatever that job is. We can also help you with that interview preparation. So if you have an interview coming up and if you're feeling nervous or if you would just like to sharpen your interview skills, we would be happy to get on the phone with you and we could conduct a mock interview call we also have this interactive mock interview module located in the My Career portal, and that allows you to record yourself answering questions so you can watch it back and make improvements. As Charlie mentioned, networking plays such a key role in today's job market. It really is about who you know and growing that professional network. So we can also help you with some best practices and strategies related to networking and how you can create that effective LinkedIn profile and then use that to connect with other professionals in the industry you're currently in or that industry that you're hoping to enter. And then lastly, we do help with that job search process. So we do not conduct job placement here in Career Services, but we can provide you with strategies and different techniques to really help you get your foot in the door. So here are some of our resources that are available 24 seven. So we completely understand that between your schoolwork and work and your family life, that there may be very limited time for you to actually reach out to our department or schedule that one-on-one -on -one appointment with a career advisor. So we have created countless different resources that you can access at any time of the day. My most popular resource is My Career. So I really hope that you have explored My Career. If not, I do strongly encourage you to log into it and really view all of these different resources in the portal. And you can locate My Career in your student portal. 
So my career has various resources. It also has a university specific job board. So we are continually updating that job board with new positions and growing those connections with employers who want to hire Ashford grads. And this is how you would also go about scheduling a one-on-one -on -one appointment. And then we have Vault. So this is one of the resources that you can find in my career. And this is an excellent tool if you are currently looking for a new job or you are in that career exploration phase where you're just trying to learn what does this occupation entail? What are some strategies to get my foot in the door? So with Vault, there's various Q&A videos that you can watch. There is information on hundreds of different national employers. So this is a resource that we provide for free to our students and alumni. So here are just some other tools that are available 24-7. Our career pathways are essentially a checklist to guide you throughout that career development process and it aligns with your degree program. So when you log into my career and you access the career pathway resource, you have already been assigned a MBA pathway. And so for example, between 30 and 60 credits, we recommend that you are updating your resume, you're building your professional network. Um, upon graduation, we recommend that you utilize niche job boards in addition to LinkedIn and Monster and more of those general job boards. So this is just a great way for you to stay on track throughout your degree program. But with that being said, if you do leverage the career pathway, please don't ever feel like you're behind if maybe you're further ahead in your credits and if you haven't done any of those recommended steps. It's, these are just suggestions to guide you through that process and everybody's journey is going to look a little bit different. So please don't ever worry about that if you leverage that tool. And then we also have a military career track which was designed for all of our military affiliated students and alumni. So in the military career track, it helps our military affiliated students to transition from the military to civilian employment. So it's similar to the career pathway where it breaks up those different career steps and guidance, but in the military career track, it's based on that pre-transition, transition, and post-transition process. So here is just some directions on how you can go about scheduling a one-on-one -on -one appointment with a career advisor. So you can schedule it through that My Career Portal that I just discussed. There is a calendar tab on the left-hand side of the portal, and that will show you the different career advisors as well as their availability. If you ever run into issues or you know, in that My Career Portal, or if you would just prefer if we schedule it, you can always shoot us an email our email is careerservices at ashford.edu, or you can always give us a call. Our extension is 20057. And to schedule that one-on-one -on -one coaching appointment, there are a few different types of appointments that you can select from. So this aligns with those different services that I mentioned. So it really depends on if you're looking to take a self-assessment or analyze those results. If you're in that career and major exploration phase, um, if you want to discuss your resume, LinkedIn, job search strategies, or really do that mock interview. So we do have another virtual career fair that is taking place on Wednesday, October 7th. So this event is going to take place from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So with that being said, you do not need to attend the event for the entire six hours. You can really come and go as you please. So if you would just like to attend for 30 minutes, that's great. If you want to attend for two hours, that's wonderful as well. So at this virtual career fair, we are going to have employers from across the nation and just have numerous different job opportunities. So if you're currently looking for a new job, I highly recommend registering for this event. And you should have received an email from our team throughout these past couple of weeks regarding the virtual career fair and how to register for it. But if you have not received that email or if you're experiencing issues just trying to register for the event, 
please reach out to us and we will go ahead and assist you through that process. And that's all I have. These are just some different ways to reach us. Like I mentioned, that's our email address at careerservices at ashford.edu and then our appointment line as well. And we do work on an appointment basis because we do provide that individualized career guidance. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you very much. I think a couple of things are really cool with like a virtual career fair. So we'll be part of the MBA program. We'll be there part of the virtual career fair. So it's always good to talk to current students just to drop by, see how you're doing. If you have friends that might be interested in finding out more of the MBA program, you could do that. And so I think it's just, it's just a wonderful event to really, again, help students be connected and make in those networking events. So I think we're also fortunate to have a man who's assigned to Forbes. So she's, she's aware and kind of sensitive to the needs of the Forbes School of Business Technology students and their needs and aspirations and how we help them get that. So we're fortunate to have that. So, so I think that to sum it all up, it's just, if it's career service, if it's writing, if it's my, it's myself, make sure you reach out to us early and often. We, our goal is to help you get across the stage. The cool, one of the coolest parts of any of our jobs is graduation. When students reach that sort of goal, it, it's just fascinating and it's just, it's just very cool. So that's probably the best part of I know, my job is that. So, um, so reach out to us early and often. We're here to help you. If we don't know the answer, we'll find the answer out for you. We have lots of resources available. So, um, so keep fighting the good fight. Keep your keep your eye on the prize, as as I always like to say. So, um, so thank you for attending, and we wish you continued success as you reach your um, academic goals. Thank you for attending. Thank you, everyone. Bye.